Oh oh. <laughs> what? Mm -mm, nothing. What? I won't tell you what I see. Why? Because then you don't want to cross. What did you see? You really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. Big one. A big, big one. Big, big crocodile. Big crocodile. It went this way. Where is he now? Swimming. Swimming. Somewhere. <laughs> It was really big. <laughs> it was really. How big? Big. Sir Francis Drake first came to this remote piece of Pacific real estate over 400 years ago, and he was astounded by what he found. Today, most of the same species of plants and animals that amazed Sir Francis are still here. From the tiny poison arrow frogs to the giant saltwater crocodiles, the Fearsome fair to land snake and the golden eyelash viper, hordes of monkeys, flocks of scarlet macaws, tapers wander in the underbrush, and jaguars prowl among the giant buttressed hardwoods and delicate palms. This is the Osa Peninsula, the most biodiverse place on earth. Welcome to the wild side of Costa Rica. Another part of this project is actually looking at how spider monkeys and howler monkeys use mud ankle. It's a small reserve. It's approximately seven. And the reason is because when they are on the nest, they spend like three months on the nest. And the parents will bring all the food, so when they come out of the nest, they even bigger. Not really. I'm Nick Mole, wildlife documentary producer from Colorado, with a background in and a passion for biology. Along with my fellow producer and cameraman, John Gurner, and crew, we are destined for the most remote corner of Costa Rica, the Osa Peninsula. We need to get to Marinko Biological Preserve on the edge of Corcovado National Park. But first, we need to find a small outpost on the Sierpe River known as Ecomenglades. As might be expected with a place like this, it's not that easy to find. Somehow when I'm lost, I must look suspicious. But the local policia and border patrol are generally friendly and polite, although they are always on the lookout, especially near their borders, for illicit activity. As with most cops, the universal tension breaker is to simply ask directions. I really thought it was the other way. But then again, they have their pride. And they have their guns. Now this bridge to Ecomenglades appears to have been built for something a little smaller than our vehicle. Like maybe a bicycle? What some people will do for pizza and a beer. But it is comforting to know that an SUV plunging into this river would probably scare anything away that might want to eat us and we would probably drown before they came back. Those hungry-looking critters eyeballing us from the river are a spectacled caiman. We'll get back to them later, after we eat. 